everyone well well hello we are ready to start a new class let's just wait for everybody to connect soon Good evening, class. Hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. What about you? Fine, thank you. Okay, okay. Just let me text your classmates that it's almost time. Sorry, teacher, I'm not, I'm not uh, hurting or oír. Here. Here. I know here. Really? In this Let's moment, see. yes. Okay, okay. No, it's just that I am going to text your classmates to remind them that it's almost time. Sorry, teacher, my English is, is, is very limited. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Just to let everybody know that it's almost time to start the class. So how are you, Nicolas? How was your day? Uh, my day is, is very good. Uh, now I meet with personal of uh, Pollo Campero. Already? Vinculated with um, topics of uh, saneamiento. How do you say an event in English? I don't know. Related to? Relacionado en qué área? En el agua. Okay, saneamiento, that's the cleanliness. Clean. You're talking about cleanliness. Cleanliness. Eh, oh. Water cleanliness. Or okay. cleanliness water. Water cleanliness in this case. Water cleanliness. Now, now something that I want to, to tell you. Meet is in present. Uh, meeting. Meet so just you said I met. I met. I met. Met. Met is in past. M E T. Yep. I just texted it. Se lo acabo de poner ahí en el Zoom chat. Yes. Okay. That's the verb meet in past. Uh, the left is present. The right is past. Past, yes, exactly. Okay. Meet in present, met in past. Okay, okay, guys, just give me, just give me a second, please. Let's see, let's see, I am back. The question is, how was your day? Uh, was... The question is, lady. Yep. How was your day? See. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? And how to that question, we day? and we answer. Y contestamos. It was. And then, y luego le agregamos cómo estuvo. It was okay, it was good, it was bad, it was great, it was terrible. Depending on how was the day, dependiendo cómo estuvo el día. Le agregamos el adjetivo a la expresión. It was. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, teacher. Let's see. 
let's see, Nicolás, how was your day? Activate your microphone, please, Nicolás. It was perfect. My perfect. day, it was perfect. Excellent. Now, when you say my day, you don't need to say it. Okay. Because my day is the subject. So if you say the sub, the noun, you don't need the pronoun. Okay. Okay. It, it, the number, no my day, the, uh, my day. Was, okay. It, it, uh, my day was perfect. Like that. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. That's cool. That's excellent. Let's see. Teacher. Okay. Yes, William? Good evening, William. How was your day, William? Uh, my day is was pretty quiet. Quiet, calm? Calm out? Yes, yes, teacher. Quiet. Okay. Oh, tired, cancel. Tranquilo. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. In that case, is calm. Calm. My day is was well, calm. Very, or you can very, or you can say my day was easy. Another my expression. Day, another my expression. Day it was easy. Another expression could be, what expression could you say? I have an easy day. You see? I have an easy day. Okay. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Let's see who else is around. Thank you very much, William. Francisco Jose, hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. <clears throat> how are you? I'm just fine. What about you? I'm so tired. <laughs> tired? A lot of yeah. work today? Yeah. It was very hard today. Oh, really? What did you do today? I have a lot of calls. I have some meetings. And almost, almost 10 minutes ago, I just finished it. And uh, I, want me I want meeting. I just finished one meeting. What meeting, yeah. Okay, wow. A long day. Yeah, it should be long, long. <laughs> That's the way it goes, my friend. Yeah. Anyway, we have to keep on and continue, you know, another day, another dollar. Yeah, another day, another dollar. My expression is the money comes and goes. <laughs> Uh, easy come, easy goes. Easy come, easy go. That's right. Well, welcome to the class and thank you very much, Francisco. Thank you, teacher. Maria Luisa, hello, how are you? Hi. I, I, am, I am tired. You're tired? Okay, tell me why. Um, it wasn't uh, my day is tired. Uh, because I I went to to go to go to I went to I went to Chalatenango. Ouch, that's uh, far. The uh, the uh, one one meeting, uh, one meeting with with my client, my client. Clients. Yeah, client. It's similar. Uh -huh. uh, to present audit uh, report to the okay. board of directors. Then, then the travel is is um, pesado. Heavy. He uh -huh. Heavy. Uh. Yeah, traffic uh, is terrible. Tra traffic is uh -huh, is terrible. Yeah, tell me about it. 
However, I am I am happy. <laughs> That's cool, you know. I was yeah. worried. I was I was coming from San Salvador to my house, and it took me today three hours. I was three hours in traffic. Three hours. Terrible. Yeah. Horrible, completely horrible. But, you know, that's El Salvador. Where do you live, teacher? San Martin. Okay. It's almost oh, far from me. I'm living in Santa Ana. Oh my gosh, that's all the other way. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty far, pretty far. Okay, let's see. Thank you very much, Maria Luisa. Susana, hello, how are you? Hello, everyone. Hi, I found I I my my day is, is relaxed. Okay, really? What did you do today? <laughs> um I don't uh, work in today. Oh, really? Uh, I didn't. I didn't. Como es en pasado, I didn't. Usted me quiere decir, yo no trabajé este día. You say, okay. I didn't. Or I, didn't. I did not work. work today. Okay. I didn't not work today. Mm -hmm. ah, but, cool. uh, but I went, uh, I went, um, with my my son, uh, he 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 has he has a driver a permit driver licencia de conducir okay license license uh -huh. okay the driving license oh really mm -hmm. he got the driver's yes. license today today yes my son oh that's cool <laughs> it's a is a he's a younger how old is your son uh, my son uh, he he is a 60 no 60 years old 15 16 years old mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, I know the juvenile. Yes. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Well, thank you, Susana, and welcome to the class. Okay, thank you, teacher, and sorry, but uh, yesterday. <laughs> no problem, no problem at all. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Edward, Edward Ademir, you here? Hi, teacher, how are you? I'm just fine. What about you? Um, I I didn't work this day. Um, oh, really? Because I received the second dose of the dose. Va vaccine. Va vaccine. 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 Yeah, you got the dose. Oh my <clears throat> gosh. Dose. Okay. Dose. How are symptoms? You got any symptoms? Um nothing nothing of symptoms uh only in the afternoon uh start to rain and and stay i i feel asleep <laughs> oh uh, i fell i fell asleep i fell fell asleep okay yeah i fell asleep Oh, that's cool. You are, so you are rested today. Yes. <laughs> that's cool. Yes. And tomorrow, do you work tomorrow? No. Um, oh. Um, it's my weekend. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. So you got a long weekend. Uh, yes. I, I have a long weekend. Largo. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. cool. That's cool. That's cool. So that means that you are going to work in the platform, right? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Edward, and welcome to the class. Thanks, teacher. Um, Ambar, hello. How are you? 
<laughs> Hello, good, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I am fine. What about you? How was your day? Mm, I, I, I have a relaxed day too because oh, really? I don't have a lot of work, but it's a good day. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And what are the plans for the weekend? Tell me, what you gonna do in the weekend? Well, I think that tomorrow I will go to the restaurant because I watch I will watch the game, the final Brazil versus Argentina. That's tomorrow. I I think so. Creo algo así. Hay que invitar. Okay, what time is it? And in the afternoon, I'm not sure of, about the hour. The, the schedule. Schedule, sorry. Yeah, me neither. You know, nowadays with uh, soccer, due to so many classes, I am like a little bit disconnected. So I am not. I am not up to date with the with the schedules of games because of my classes. I am like disconnected of everything. Really? Yeah, I am teaching most of the time. So, like uh, the games in the afternoon. I mean, around five. I was teaching a class. I think we'll be in the afternoon, but not not sure. Okay, well, I'll try to watch it. Thank you. Thanks for the. Thank you. Thanks teacher. for the hell's up. This Hell? is an expression. Look, Amber. Thank you for the hell's up. Hell's up. What does it mean? Sorry. Ah, uh, es una manera informal de decir por la. Mm. Como cuando decimos nosotros, hey, gracias por el tip, o gracias por el recordatorio, o el comentario sobre algo que me interesa. Thanks for the heads up. So now ah. I am like, ah, oh, ready. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Oh, no, thanks to you, and welcome to the class. Let's see, let's see, who else is around? Hey, Daniel, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, and you? I'm just great. Tell me, Daniel, what are the plans for the weekend? Uh, work. And work? maybe go to some another place. Yes. Okay. Man, that's, you're very clear. The plans for the weekend? Oh, work. Even Sunday? Are you going <laughs> to work on Sunday? Mm, oh, no, no, no. The Sunday I'm going to go to, well, this is some family in Acajutla, but have a little appointment. For oh, really? Too. Oh, so you got relatives in Acajutla? Yes. Oh, man. Acajutla is beautiful, but too hot. It's too hot for me. The weather over there is very hot. Yeah, it's horrible. 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 Okay. Uh, it's desperating. And nowadays, this week, man, it's been terrible. Yeah. So you're going to Acajutla. Nice, nice. Let me see. Last time I went to Acajutla, actually, I went like three or four months ago. Oh, it was a little time ago yeah but i hadn't gone no había ido i hadn't i have not gone have not gone okay i have not gone in let me see i hadn't gone in more than 20 like 22 or 23 years that's really a lot of time. Yeah, a lot, a lot. I mean, last time I had gone to Acajutla, it was in 1997 or 98. No, 98. 
99, somewhere around. Yeah. I was I was ago. very young at that time. I April 98, 99, la última vez que había ido. Yeah. I was pretty young at that time. Well, interesting. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thanks. And welcome to the class. Okay. Anna Belinda, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Um, Good evening, how are you? Good okay. teacher. Now, I want to know what's what's up for the weekend? What you got? Um, my weekend, uh, I in Saturday, maybe I will go to the bank. Okay. Um, in the afternoon, I stay uh, in my in my home, uh, clean my house, maybe a uh, rest a little. Um, Sunday, in the morning, um, I will I have go to the church. I will go to church. I will go to church and the afternoon, maybe I will go to supermarket. Oh, really? Yes. That's cool. So you have the whole weekend plan? Yes. That's Last nice. Night. <laughs> That's and nice when to have everything organized. Yes, this is special. Fine. <laughs> okay, now tell me when you're gonna sleep, when you're gonna rest. Uh, maybe uh, two hours, maybe two hours. Yes, on Sunday. On Sunday, that's cool. That's maybe nice, that's nice. Saturday. <laughs> oh, okay. That's cool. I envy yes. you. We have, you. Rest. <laughs> we have to rest. We have, we have to, rest. to rest. We have to yeah. rest. We have to rest. I envy you. They envy you. <laughs> I'm, I'm so not... sorry for you, teacher. <laughs> yeah, let me see. Let me see. In my case, I will tell you about my schedule. Let's see. For this coming weekend, Okay. Tomorrow morning, I am going to, well, I got a Tisha class, a Oops. private class in the morning. And Saturday? Yep. Oh. And I was, actually, I was going to teach another one Saturday afternoon and another okay. one Sunday, Sunday afternoon. I was going to class wow. Saturday, Saturday, Domingo por la tarde. Oh my but, God. but my student is out of the country. When do you rest? When I die, cuando me muera. <laughs> ah, oh, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I gotta work now. Nah. No, but it's okay. You know, I like it. That way. I mean, it <laughs> yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do because, I mean, hmm, usually I am working. Perhaps tomorrow afternoon, I am going to watch a game that Amber just told me. Amber me acaba de decir algún partido. Yes. I'm not sure. In she says. Sunday, uh, the final uh, euro. Okay. And what about Copa tomorrow? America. Amber told me about Copa America. When is Copa America? Guys, tell it's me. It's Saturday. Me. Saturday. Okay. And tomorrow, Sunday, what time? Tomorrow Monday. in the afternoon is um, 3 p.m. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. five, 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 five p.m. Oh, okay, at five p.m. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's just that Amber got an invitation at three p.m. <laughs> the game is going to start later, Amber. Wow, oh, whatever. <laughs> no problem. You are not interested in the game. You are interested in the company, the environment. That's cool. Well, thank you, Ana Belinda. Nice talking to you and welcome to the Thank class. you, teacher. Mr. Jose Osorio, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hey. How are you, mister? How's everything? Uh, I'm very well. 
uh, because I had a great day. Uh, oh, really? Because what did you do today? I was able to finish the week full in. Uh, excuse me, teacher. How do you how do you say? Uh, cumplir mis tareas in in English. Fulfill. Fulfill, and uh, because I I was able, I was to, able finish the week, to fulfill. Uh -huh. I had to fulfill all my tasks. Perfect. And 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 my weekend, I I will go to work tomorrow around eight hours and. Ouch. But um, on Sunday, I plan to to spend time with my family and watch some movies. And, yeah. That's cool. Do you have it's kids, all... Jose? Excuse me? Do you have children? Yes, I have two children. Okay. How old are they? Two children. Two children. Two children. Okay. Children is plural. Child is singular. Okay. How old are they? Um, Crisia uh, is 14 years old and Nicole uh, is nine, nine years oh old. Oh my gosh, you got two girls? Yes. <laughs> okay, I got a shotgun, man. You can, you can ask for a it whenever. A shotgun. Yeah. Uh, I have a revolver. It, I have a, a revolver point three fifty seven. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. A big one. Yeah, uh, you yeah. will need it. You will need it. <laughs> okay, okay. Nice talking to you, Jose. Welcome to the class. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Wilfredo. How's it going? Hi, teacher. Come on, Wilfredo. You are too quiet. Tell me, what's new for today? How was your day? What did you do? I only want to listen to you to learn more. Uh, you will learn more talking <laughs> to me. So tell me, how was your day? What did you do? Yeah, I know I had to talk to improve my vocabulary and, and get more fluency. But I well, teacher, I'm fine. Okay. And tell me, what's the plan for tomorrow? What you gonna do tomorrow? I'm sorry. What you gonna do tomorrow? What's the plan? For tomorrow, um, I, I many things. I, I I I have to go to to auto repair shop um, oh, in the morning, but then I need to go to supermarket. Then uh, my son is going to play soccer at uh, two p.m. I, I guess. And I, I, I want to go to see to see him. That's nice. That's nice. So you're gonna watch the the match? Yeah. Yeah, in the afternoon, of course. You're Argentina. ready for that. Yeah. Oh, it's you go for Argentina? Be... Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's cool. So we don't have problem with this. One. I like I like to to two teams. But I prefer Argentina. I like them both. I like them I both. I like oh, them okay. both. Yeah. Me gustan ambos. Both, ambos. Yeah, teacher. I like them both. Okay. What about you, teacher? What kind of yeah. team do you prefer? Uh, I prefer, actually, I prefer Argentina. Okay. Yeah. Look, look at this expression. I root for, root means raíz, but root for, when I say, oh, I root for, it's an expression. Some people can use it para decir como yo apoyo a. Let, let me, let me write it. It's, it's not quite common, but some people use it. No es tan okay. común, pero sí es usado. Maybe we can say to I'm fine. I, I fans to to both teams. Yeah, yeah, I support both. Yeah, okay. 
What about you, teacher? I I I hear you that you don't don't uh, rest. Or will you do go, you do go? Well, I will rest this weekend, you know, because my student went out of the country. Tendré que descansar este fin de semana. Well, actually, I'm going to rest just let's see tomorrow afternoon and Sunday afternoon. I don't know what they might gonna do. Anyway. Teacher, how do you say un dicho in English? How do you say a saying? A saying when you enjoy enjoy your job, you will never have to work. Yeah, I mean it's fun, it's relaxed. I like to do it. Yeah. I mean, I like vacations. One, two, three days, tops. Yeah. More than three days, oh, it's terrible. It is enough time, teacher, to enjoy with the family. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, to get acquainted with them is enough. Para reconocerlo de nuevo, three days is enough. I'm kidding, I'm <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. Thank you, Wilfredo, yeah. and welcome to the class. Welcome, teacher. Hey, Fernando, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Tell it's me. Friday. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday. What's the plan and for tomorrow? What you gonna do for tomorrow? tomorrow uh, this weekend is my my home weekend. Oh, really? So I. What do you mean? I, I will. Uh, um, in my in my case, um, every como es cada cada dos fines de semana every. Every every other weekend. Every other weekend. Or si ustedes si ustedes este British. Fortnite. Fortnite. Oh, cada quince días. Quincena, yeah. Okay. Uh, in my in my house, uh, Fortnite. Uh, my family and I we we go out to. To eat, to shopping, to uh, sometimes. Some, uh, okay, various. that's that's cool. That's cool. Hey, it's always good to enjoy with the family. Yeah. So uh, tomorrow, uh, this weekend is is home weekend. So I I will do the laundry. I will uh, clean in the house. I will wash the car. I will wash the the bathroom, etc. Uh, help around the house. Yeah, help around the house. That's cool. Yeah, that's yeah. my plan for this weekend. And uh, the final of America oh, yeah. Cups and Euro Cup. Uh, European. Uh, European Cup. U yeah, European Cup. That's nice, that's nice. So you got everything ready. Thank you very much, Fernando, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Shanira, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, how are you? I'm good. What about oh, you? Okay. Well, here, stress out a little bit. You know, I was driving for three hours in a traffic jam. In Roxana is here. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, but she's very <laughs> quiet today, so that's not a problem. Today. Okay, okay. Yes, she's quiet. What happened with Roxana? She's a little mm, bit sick. I'm, I'm hiding. Yeah, uh, yes, hidden. she's hiding. Yeah. So hidden. tell me. Yeah, she's hidden. Or she can say, I am hiding. I am hidden or I am hiding. Estoy escondida o me estoy escondiendo. Ajá. Maybe she make something bad. Ajá. Yeah, it's most probably. Me? No, it's not possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, right? Yeah, Yanira, but don't change my subject. What's the plan for tomorrow for the weekend? Tell me what, what are well, your plans? Well, uh, uh... Uh, I don't have plan because I I I have but I change because some friend is sick 
uh, we have plans to dinner tomorrow, but he has symptoms like a flu. Then maybe it's possible that he have a COVID. They, okay, stay yeah. away. Stay away. <laughs> they, uh, then we change the plans. Okay, so what are the plans? Uh, I, I don't have plans right now, but maybe I I will go with my dogs to the park and uh, on Sunday I go to the church because I have a promise. Okay. And so that's it. That's nice. Very short. I, I, I need rest. Come on, you're young. You can rest when you pass away. But no, really. Today was a difficult day. I, I really stress it. Then I need to rest. Okay, that's cool. Well, thank you very much, Janita. Thank you, teacher. Where's Walter? I remember I saw Walter here around. Walter, Walter, Walter. Hello, Walter. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I am fine, teacher. Okay, tell me, Walter, how was, what are the plans? What's you gonna do? <clears throat> okay. And the weekends and tomorrow I work in the morning. In the afternoon, okay. uh, I had, I had, uh, how do you say permiso? A what? How do you say permiso? Uh, permission. Permission, okay, permission and the uh, and um, <clears throat> afternoon uh, for um, and for God and uh, playing soccer. Okay. I want playing soccer. So you got permission to go uh, and play soccer. Uh, That's cool. Yeah. Yes. And then <laughs> okay, okay, that's nice. I mean, that's great. If you can get it, that's okay. Welcome uh, to the class, Walter. Uh, yeah, tell me, tell me, tell yes. me. <clears throat> and then uh, I had a, uh, I had a, uh, a uh, semifinalist. How do you oh, say semifinals, teacher? Like that, semifinals. Oh, really? Those are tomorrow? Okay. I like that. I semifinal. And tomorrow. And, and, and yes, and 3 p.m. At, at 3 p.m. How do you say that? I'm at sorry? How do you say? How do you say uh, Papi Fubo? Ooh, no idea, my friend. I see it. No sé, no sé cómo se llaman las divisiones. <laughs> In soccer, I don't know. I don't know. Wow. No, I mean, it's wow, just okay. that I, I don't, I don't practice soccer, you know. That's the problem. No practico soccer. So, wow. I mean, yeah, for me, it's that, not like. That is soccer. Yeah, and that so is and my, <laughs> and my teacher and, and, and that is soccer. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, and in my case, teacher and <laughs> hello, hello, teacher. Yes, I am listening to you. Ah, okay, excuse me. Uh, in my case, in my case, uh, the pain soccer is my life. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's your your hobby, your favorite hobby. Uh -huh. Okay, it's my life. I love it. Let's, <laughs> let's see. Let's see. 
Let's see. Well, thank you very much, Walter. Before I continue, please, guys, I need Welcome. to take the attendance. Okay, let's see. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Great, great, great. I think you Okay, and Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Carlos Antonio. Oh, here. I wonder what happened to Carlos. Claudia Lisette Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Thank you. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Nicolás Atilio Méndez. Granados. Present teacher. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Yeah. Present teacher. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Francisco Jose Menéndez Aguilar. Here teacher. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Okay, guys, let's see. Well, I'm sorry for, I didn't explain this at the beginning. And I'm sorry, I'm going to make a pause into Spanish. Perdón, voy a hacer una pequeña pausa en el español. It's Friday. Eh, la emoción de ver algunas caras conocidas se me olvidó explicarles un pequeño detalle. Se los explicaré en español para que nos entendamos. Normalmente, el día viernes, eh, al ser el final de nuestra semana, estamos más relajados, algunos de nosotros descansamos el fin de semana. Eso nos permite estar un poquito más relajados. Este día enfoco la clase mucho a speaking. Casi toda la clase la enfoco a tener conversaciones así y tratar de que esas conversaciones sean más largas. Entonces, eh, voy a estar alternando con algunos de ustedes, haciendo preguntas. Vamos a tocar el manual, desde luego. Siempre lo hacemos. Pero vamos a conversar, platicar mucho. ¿okay? Conmigo, entre ustedes... Ahora va a ser más que todo enfocado a speaking, ¿ok? So, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is missing? Who else is missing? Hey, Maria, tell me, what's for dinner? Maria Alejandra. Teacher, I eat a, a fried potato. <laughs> okay, fries. Just, you can uh, just fries. say fries. Okay, that's cool. Tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? Um, the Saturday is my day, my long day. My day off. My no. It's oh my day, my long day. El día my hard. long day because I work to seven six p.m. From seven to three p.m. No. Uh, nine a.m. to six p.m. From 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And that's not me. <laughs> But it's Saturday. <laughs> Come on, you're young. But I, my day off is Thursday. But and so then, Sunday you gotta work again. No, that Sunday no, because I work nine hours 
uh, per day. Oh, oh that's why. Mm -hmm. So with that hour, you compensate Sunday. Yes, but uh, Thursday, but it's the same. Okay, so you got two days, Sunday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, look at you. That's cool. <laughs> yes, that's cool. That's cool. So what you gonna do on Sunday? Mm. In the Saturday, uh, when I finish my work, I see, a, I watch a movie with my friend and my boyfriend. Um, in the night, and maybe at night, at, at night, night, and maybe eat, but I don't know. <laughs> and the Sunday, I I visit my my mother house, my her my mother her house, my, my mother's house, my mother house. And um, maybe visit my grandmother, but I don't know. And only okay. that, and stay in. Just that. <laughs> okay, perfect, excellent. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Maria, and welcome to the to the class. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see, Elvia. Hello, Elvia. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, Elvia, this weekend, what's you gonna do? What's the plan? Um, tomorrow, I get up at 6 a.m. and to prepare a breakfast. My husband. Husband? Husband. And then to from the plants, do the cleaning in my house. And, okay. on, so and on Sunday, um, watch movie and prepare um, delicious lunch. Such as Mm, barbecue on um, what is the meaning lasagna lasagna, lasagna. It's a, yeah it's an italian dish but really mm. that's nice that's nice that's nice wow so <laughs> what type of lasagna are you gonna have um, and the uh, meat, um, meat, meat. Okay, cool. That's nice. Excellent. Thank you very much, Shelby, and welcome to the class. Then. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Silvia, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, my dear? I am very good, thank you. And how are you? I'm just fine. And tell me, Sylvia, what's the plan for this weekend? Well, you got to work, right? Yes, I have to work this weekend and very hard because we are full house. Oh, really? Tell me, which yes. day is like the most difficult for you, Saturday or Sunday? Um, Friday and, no, Friday and Saturday and Sunday because it's a weekend. Okay, and what's your schedule on Sunday? Uh, it's, the, it's the same. On Sunday, I start at, at 1 p.m. and I finish at 8. Okay, so you don't get like extra hours, no, no overtime? No, I, no, 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 I don't get extra hours. So you I just have the fulfill same schedule, your shift but, and that's it? Yes, that's it, but... My, and my shift, my shift is is very is very hard because we have so much work, many people coming, and it's yeah. very hard for for us. Yeah, and you got you got yes. from seven to 
no, I, I mean, you got from 1 p.m., you tell me, or 11? Yes, from 1, from 1 to, to 8, for example. It's the same schedule, oh, for example, my gosh. today. So, yes, because, so for you example, got I lunch and to... part of dinner. Yes. Uh, yeah, please yes. tell me, tell me. Yes, I, I was telling you that I have the same schedule on almost uh, the whole week. For example, I started at 1 p.m. and I finished at 8. And sometimes I got home at 9 p.m. So I'm just arriving home. Oh my gosh. Yes, but I connected from my from my way. Yeah, on my I way. Left, on my way, yes. I connected on my way and I was listening to you guys. Okay, well. The good thing is that you are here in the class and I'm so sorry for you. So this coming weekend is not like fun for you. Yeah, that's it. And how's the weather? Man, here in San Salvador, it's been terrible. What about it there? No, here is sunny. Here, here is a good no, weather. I, here's been hot, pretty hot. That's oh, good. yes. It's very hot here. But I am, I am used to this weather. I like it. Um, I Say like it. I'm just, I just feel, <laughs> yeah. You yes. like it? It's hot, my dear. Oh, man, I don't know. I would, well, I, yes, because, I imagine you get used to it. Yeah, I imagine yeah. you get used to it. Yeah. Yes, I'm, That's I'm normal. used to it. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Sylvia, and welcome to the class. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, who? gonna be the victim i mean the volunteer <laughs> hey janira yeah you you are the volunteer janira of course teacher okay janira tell me about uh, one of your classmates job experience okay let me see my notes um my partner was francisco and elvia Okay, tell me about Elvia. I want to know about her. Uh, she talked about her schedule. Okay. She said that she worked to 8 a.m. until... From? Uh, from? From 2 a.m. until 9 p.m. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, let's see. Amber, what about you? Tell me about your classmate. Okay, my classmate was Wilfredo. Okay. He told me he's a supervisor on his work. His company? His company, sorry. Uh -huh. What else? What else did he tell you? Tell me. Come on, <laughs> um, I I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys. Now, thank you very much, Amber. Okay, okay guys. Look, you. today we need to talk a little bit about uh, about the same topic, actually, job experience. Okay. That's what we are going to do today. And I got a new question for you. It's almost the same that we were talking yesterday, okay? Now, what specific information about your work experience can you provide? You see the question? What specific information about your work experience can you provide? I will divide you in groups. I'll give you five minutes for you to ask and answer that question. Your class, you need to give your classmates about uh, at least three sentences talking about job experience. Okay. At least three sentences. Like in the case of <clears throat> Sylvia, Sylvia is her first job and only job. She can talk about the activities that she performed, at least three activities. Okay. If you have worked in three different companies, that's what you're going to do. Talk about the three different companies you have worked on. Okay. Any question about the activity? 
Okay, now let's get in the groups. Okay, groups are created, let me see. Hello, hello, hello. Let's see, this is okay, this is okay. I'm so sorry, just give me a second, guys. I need to fix something here. Okay, groups are created, please jump in. Hey, Francis. Hey, Wilfredo. They left you alone? Hey, teacher. I'm alone. Okay, your classmates? Oh, they are coming. They are coming. There's Francisco, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. And analyze, and analyze the trends of the charts and propose action plans. Uh, to improve the, the growth trend. I run a process to synchronize system. I make inquiries and I make reports in crystal reports. What about you guys? Crystal reports. Yeah, it's a software for for make a uh, report. For making. Uh, for making a report. Okay. Uh, in my in my work, I do elaborate environmental and uh, environmental and world technical reports. I worked the water at the people and I protect the mountain with forest. And my opinions are option for the mayors and the municipalities of the country. For example, what yeah, kind report. of report? What, what uh, is the content of the report? Uh, for example, uh, in the mountain uh, is the level of uh, level of forest. Uh, yeah, for example, the level of rain, the rain, the precipitations, uh, and the uh, uh medir how do you say medir medir in Me English? measure measure is a medium. i me uh, okay i i me measure the the rivers the level of the rivers okay and the, yes in the other actions okay what about you, William or Claudia? Got it. 
Where? The broker. Ah, to the brokers. Ah, to the brokers. Broker. Broker. Es broker. Corredor. La persona que el corredor de seguros es a insurance broker. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bro broker for colocation de Bitcoin. Yeah, it could be also. I don't know. Or, or corredor, no, corredor house, casa corredora, es como se ve. Yeah, that's a... No, real oh, estate. The other name is real estate broker. Yeah, but a real estate broker is in the um, broker, inmuebles. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But no, it's the same, my insurance broker. No. No, 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 no. O sea, el broker es realmente es como el intermediario. Ajá. In the Spanish, I use a intermediario um, for the different types. Individual, yeah. individual. 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 I practice. Yeah. <laughs> And maybe have a insurance broken, but is a, a companies more a small. Okay, uh -huh. a smaller company. A smaller company that individual broker. Individual. Individual. Individual Visual. brokers. <laughs> individual. Individual. Is individual. individual. Yep. Uh -huh. Individual. Individual. Okay. Okay. What about you, Maria? Um, I I am a manager the, in my company. Uh, my company is um uh, for six years, and currently I I. I am a seller for insurance, Atlantica, Atlantica Insurance. A seller? A seller for seller. Atlantica Insurance is my current job. And Atlantica. My last job, Atlantica Insurance. Insurance. Okay. Uh -huh. Atlantic insurance. And my my antiguo trabajo, my previous, 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 my previous job is um, the sales department of Avianca for six years. Previous job is. Yes. Hey, teacher, how do you say troqueladora in English? Say what? <laughs> troqueladora. For example, the machine that you put the, I don't know, would you say lamina? Like a galvanizer? Yeah. Hmm. What you mean is, es que usted lo que está hablando es de un imprint, ¿verdad? Not sure. really, not really print because uh, William uh, work in Galpaniza and he talk about, he use machine. They put a uh, laminas, yeah. like a roof in really? this machine. I don't know. Okay, do no, say. what you mean is die cut. Die cut. Okay, die cut. Yeah, what you mean exactly is this. Lo que estás hablando es un die cut. Die cut, yes. I I search in, in Google, but I don't know if it is the correct word. Yeah, it's die uh, cut. Die, die cut or die cutters. Yeah, the machine, the machine is a die cutter. Okay, die cutter. How do you say in Spanish? 
máquina para cortar. No. No. Realmente es. Es troquelado. Teacher. Exactly that word. Troquelado, troquelador. Die cut. I mean, the, remember something. Recordemos algo. Eh, y se los explicaré en español. Recordemos algo que los idiomas realmente no se traducen, sino que se interpretan. Así que la máquina específica que nosotros conocemos como troqueladora, en inglés el nombre propio de ella es die cut. Die cutter. No tiene que tener sentido para nosotros porque no es nuestro idioma. Ese es el nombre propio. Because we sí, need sí. to in interpret the idiom, exactly. not translate. Yeah, exactly. Tenemos que interpretarlo, no traducirlo. Porque si usted lo quiere traducir, ahí dice muerto o morir o muerte, cortar. Doesn't make sense at all. But the machine that we know and understand as troqueladora, it's a die cutter. As simple as that. When we start the last uh, course, you say, you need to believe me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> en algunas cosas esto es, esto es como apostolado. Ustedes créanme, okay? It's going to be easier than to explain <laughs> the whole process. Va a ser más fácil que explicarles todo el proceso. Okay, guys, it's almost time. Let me get everybody in the main room. Me parece haberlo visto antes. I got to know them. Mostly this lady. I know this lady, man. The chica ya de veras. Oh, the teacher is here. <laughs> But anyway, what can we do? That's not sure. Hey, Nicolás, you gotta teach tomorrow, right? Sorry, teacher. You're teaching tomorrow, right? Teach their classes. Yes. Tomorrow? Yeah. No. No. no uh, you just finished semester, right? Yes. Yes, I finished the semester. Semester. Yeah, semester yeah. Or, or semester? Semester. Semester. Yeah, yeah, I remember. My son, my son studies at uh, US. And he finished the uh, semester last week. Yes, the last week. I uh, I sent the the notes, notes. Grades, grades. Grades. Yep, grades. I sent. Ah, grades. grades. Okay. Okay, tomorrow. Tomorrow oh, I okay. sent the grades. So you finish your grading? You finish the grading. Yes. Okay. Yes. How did yes. your students do? Como les fue? Yeah, very good. Okay. Very good. Uh, two, two persons uh, uh, hicieron? Did. Hmm? Did. Did. Uh, did uh, the other quiz for rec uh, recuperar, recuperate. Okay, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. The extraordinary. Yeah, the extraordinary test, test or quiz. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> but they, but they passed, they approved. <clears throat> They approved. How do you Pro say they approved? O sea, lo aprobaron. Yes. Sí, okay, yes. that's fine then. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, guys, before, before we got to the next activity, I need to take the attendance. So let me please get my screen right here. 
Perfect. And let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm Barely Alfaro Gomez. Stay present, please. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. What is your missing? Voice? And Claudia Lisette Ramos Barrientos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Thank you, Edward. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Elvia. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. It's Francisco. Oh, he's here. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Teacher, sorry, Present sorry. Teacher. Yes, Edward, oh, tell me. Francisco, Francisco está ocupado en, en el trabajo. Okay, ahorita. perfect. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you, Walter. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Francisco José Menéndez Aguilar. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks to everyone. Let's... Hey, teacher. Yes. Edward, it's a slave. That's a... It's a slave. Negrero. Dice que traen una niña de nueve años. Sabía que Francisco traía niña. Slave is. Slave is. Because we won't oh. let him take the class to Francisco. <laughs> hey, Edward. <laughs> What happened oh, with you? <laughs> today is the day that Francisco got the night shift. Yes. El turno de noche. Yeah. With, with the, how do you say latigo, teacher? Whip. With the whip. Edward is with the whip. Nah, no, it's not. Nazi, Nazi. <laughs> Edward is just resting at home. I can see you. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's continue. Let's see. Well, Janita, you open up your microphone. Tell me about your job experience, please. My job experience or my partner's experience? Yours, yours. Okay. What okay. specific information about your work experience can you provide? Well, I, I know about the SQL. Then I run process for the synchronize the system. And when we know uh, SQL language, I make uh, inquiries. And with this information, I make, I make it uh, reports with a crystal report that is a software for making uh, reports. Okay, perfect. Now imagine that we are in a, in a job interview. Let's see, your name is Janita Elizabeth Asensio. You just told me a little bit about your work experience. And now, Janita, please tell me a little bit about yourself. How are you as a person and how are you as a worker? Tell me. Oh, okay. Uh, with a worker, I as a, I, I as a, a worker. Yes. Um, I, how do you say, um, I forget the word. I compromise. No, I commit. Okay. Okay. I com commit. I commit with the schedule because I like to stay at time and finish. Be on time. 
be on time. And I, I don't like it to have a lot of work. Uh, how do you say accumulado? Accumulated. Accumulated. I, I prefer to finish my uh, assignment. Okay. And as a person, I'm friendly. I'm respectfully. Respectful. That's fair, respectful. And, and that's it. Okay. You can say I don't like my work to pile up. That means amontonarse. Amontonarse. Okay. I don't like my work to people up. Yes, I, I don't like pile it. Pile up. Pile okay. up. Thank you. Thank you very much, Janita. I was okay. this close of believing you. <laughs> it's true, okay. it's true, teacher. You are Let's like a Edward. Yes. <laughs> Let's <laughs> see. Nicolas. Hello, mister. Hello, teacher. Hello, mister. What specific information about your work experience can you provide to me, please? Okay. Uh, I do elaborate environmental and work tanker reports. Okay. And I guarantee the water are people in the communities and rural communities. Uh, I protect the mountain with forest and my opinions are option for the measures in the municipal data municipality municipalities of country. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much, Mr. Okay. Let's see. Elvia, what specific information about your work experience can you provide? My experience. Experience. Experience in other job is has been in Triasuri. Okay. And uh, in com analysis, Triasuri analysis of Nicaragua and Costa Rica. Treasure, uh, treasure, 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 like that. And currently, my position is analyze finance. Okay. A finance analyst. A finance analyst. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Francisco Jose, what about you? What's your job experience? Tell me, mister. Well, teacher, I have so many experience because I've been working for almost 10 years and I have uh, so many skills because uh, the only basic and I will be learning more is to be patient. I talking to Roxana and say, ah, man, <laughs> I just I just show you how you can be patient with the clients. And this is my basic and things so was a pillar <laughs> in my experience. I have to knowledge about programs because I'm studying so many months about programs and will be try to learn more about that. And my work is tries to show me how can use that. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, thank you. Mr. Carlos Antonio Murillo, say present, please. Present, teacher. Hello, Carlos, how are you? Hi, teacher, thank you. Welcome. Today, we're, today we have just the whole class, it's been just speaking. So tell me, Carlos, I want to know about yourself. Tell me, what's your, what can you tell me? What is specific information can you tell me about your work experience? Okay. I'm I am content teacher. I'm uh, I have a uh, 
24 years of experience in the uh, in accounting. Um, accountancy. 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 Okay, in, in accountancy. Um, I have an specialist specialization in management skill from Adam Business School teacher. Um, oh, really? Yes. Um, I, I worked for nine years ago in a, in a NGO, um, a national organization, non-government non non organization. And I have experience to management in human resource and in audit plans and I know uh, uh, in, uh, intern, intern controls, maybe it's uh, the pronunciation. And yes. yeah, uh, uh, that, that is, that is my, my experience in, 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 in that case, teacher. I, actually, I, I, I have a new opportunity in my work. Um, about one month ago, I'm starting a new process. Mm, I, I'm, I'm very satisfied about, the, about that teacher. Oh, so you are getting a new position? Yes, teacher. Cool. Better pay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay. Excellent. That's even better. Yeah. Invite right. all the group to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Congrats. We, Congrats. We need to, we need Thank to know you, when, Carlos. when's payday. How, when's do, payday. how do you say culebra? Today, how today do you say it's culebra? <laughs> That's a snake. The snake. Okay. That's why Carlos was like this. I don't want to say, I don't want to say. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, Excellent. teacher. Good <laughs> okay, Daniel, you were telling me yesterday a little bit about yourself. Please share with the group again, what, uh, what a specific information about your work experience can you provide? Daniel Eduardo? Hi, uh, can you repeat please? What specific information about your work experience can you provide? Uh, probably the ability of evaluate and structure by dynamic dynamic analysis okay the evaluation of a structure by dynamic analysis hmm. it sounds very technical yeah it's not that difficult to well by the computer is a real a little uh, hard but the uh, the advantage of using that type of analysis when we design is that we can see how will the building uh, will a uh, reaction in a earthquake by we'll react. the different we'll types react. of will react in an earthquake earthquake by the different types of uh, movements. Uh, movements, yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. That was actually very interesting. Thanks. No, thanks to you. Let's see, let's see. So, wow, I got so many different areas. Who's gonna be next? Who's gonna be next? Maria Luisa, what specific information about your work experience can you provide? Okay, my, my experience is in quality control, in a audit, audit, uh, audit and um, an financial, uh, analyst financial. Um, Financial it, analysis. Uh, 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 financial analysis. Uh -huh. Identifies the risks, the 
in the company. Identif identify. Identify, uh -huh, in the company. Um, review, review the, the financial, financial statement. Prepare, statements. prepare. Uh -huh. Statements. Statements. Uh -huh. Prepare audit uh, proposal. Proposal. Y negocie, negocie, negociación. What is it? Uh, yeah, negotiate. Negocia, uh, negotiate uh, free, free, uh, with uh, the client, with, with, with the clients. Okay. And, uh, prepare, that's enough. Prepare that's that's plans, actually a lot. Prepare, prepare plans, plans the audit in the audit. Uh, audit okay. auditing, in auditing plans. Uh, uh, audited plans. And uh, review the reports, report and presentation the info uh, with, with the claims. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay, just give me a second, guys. Just a second, just a second. Okay. Well, let's see, let's see, who's next, who's next, who's next? Mm -hmm. Mr. Osorio, gosh, I got you, you are right in front of me. Tell me, what specific information about your work experience can you provide? Uh, uh, I work in, in some activities, activities related in to industrial engineering and as a person i am punctual and responsible i have a good personal relationship and i am how do you say disciplinado in english discipline discipline like that discipline okay i am disciplined in my work and uh, as an employee, as an employee, I can contribute to the fulfillment, 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 fulfillment of company goals of the company goals, and I analyze the opportunities in the production process to improve them. And, to improve and them, I analyze to improve, this, them. In, in, to improve them, improve them, and analyze the growth trend of the metrics. Okay. And, and collaborate in the creation of action plans. Okay. Well, that's enough. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you. And, and okay. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot. Well, guys, it's very, it's been very interesting to hear. I'm sorry for the rest of you, but I need to jump on to another activity. Let's see, let's see. Yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, I asked you to perform a little activity from the manual, right? Do you remember, guys, that, let's see, you were supposed to Fill in this exercise. Read about Nicole's work experience and fill in the blanks using four scenes from to law. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Give me just a second. I'm trying to get something here. Man. Oh, 
Here we go. Okay, let's see. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from Oka University. She studied there. From. From, exactly. Oh my gosh, what happened? I'm sorry. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. 2011. Then, my bad, I need a capital here. Then she worked in Molsa. Since. Uh, uh, Molsa. Four. 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 Seven years. Since she was a child, let me see. All right, guys. Okay. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years, retired. His name was Gonzalo, and he worked there since 2015. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's see. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works, again, we got, she works from Monday to Saturday, and she loves her job. She has not worked there long, but her team supports her. Any question, guys? I'm sure you have it like this, right? Seguro que lo tienen así, ¿verdad? Yeah, teacher. Any question? No? Uh, did you check? Did you make corrections? Can I move on? ¿Puedo continuar? Uh, let's do something. I'll take a picture and share it with you so everybody can have it like here. Me tomo una foto y se los mando si todos lo tienen. Teacher, how yes. do you say the 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 uh, el, el último el último renglón in Spanish? For example, she has not worked there long. Ella no ha trabajado ahí. Eh, durante mucho tiempo. No, durante mucho tiempo. ¿Ya? Yeah. Esa expresión okay. quiere decir eso. She has not worked there long. No ha estado ahí por mucho tiempo. But her team supports her. Pero su equipo le apoya. Ok. Gracias. Ok, guys. Don't worry that you have it. Uh, you have it there. Okay, now we got a conversation. Let's see, there's a conversation here between two persons. Let's see. What is your social security number? It's 345-63-245-78654. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I work in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011.
Uh, do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA, Bachelor's in Business, business Administration. That's BBA, okay? Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. I repeat, what is your social security number? It's 34563245-78654. When were you born? I was born on July the 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay. Let's see, let's see guys. Let me just get it for you. Okay, I send it already to the group and I will repeat one last time. What is your social security number? It's 34563245-78654. When were you born? I was born on July the 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, guys, now uh, four minutes for you to practice. In Teacher. Yes. Other form for uh, other form, uh, the pronunciation of the the years. Uh, it could be said twenty twenty o five or twenty eleven. Yeah, you can say it like that. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, groups are created, please jump in. Let's practice. Jose, you left alone. Yes. Hi, Jose. Okay, I will send you to another group. And be otro grupo. Okay, thanks. Llegó ya la invitación. Um, check it. Oh, no lo acepte. Oh.
I'm, I'm ready. Uh, I'm Alan. Okay. Uh, what is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July 5th. Where did you work? I worked in Morsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Second hello. Silvia. This is on July first. Where yes, did you work? Hi, teacher. How do you feel? I feel bad, but I try to, to stay here. I work in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chron chronic medical condition? <clears throat> yes, I do. I have hypertension. Inicio. What? ¿Cómo? Inicio. Sí. Que voy, voy. Ok. Hypertension. Hypertension. Teacher, I'm correct? Yeah, hypertension. Hypertension. Okay. Teacher, uh, the pronunciation of diploma. 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 So, like Spanish. Yeah. But no, in, the, in Spanish is diploma. In English is diploma. Diploma. Yeah, the O is the O is rounder. La O es más redonda en English. Remember that. And no, remember, B, and remember, BBA means la BBA quiere decir bachelor's in business administration. Okay. Es licenciado en administración de empresas. Uh, okay. Uh, Perdón, ¿qué dijo sobre la O en diploma, teacher? Rounder, más redondo que en español. Diploma, diploma. Diploma, diploma. Ok, ok. Uh, this are remember, a, that, uh, remember que esto que está aquí es un dash, es un guión. Uh, dash. Cuando, es, cuando lo que divide son palabras, hay palabras que vienen solamente, van juntas, pero divididas nada más por un guión. En ese caso se llama diferente, se llama hyphen. So, uh, can you write? Hyphen. Hyphen. Hyphen, uh, okay. In this case, it's dash. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just starting again, though. Okay. What is your so social security number? Security. Security, perdón. Sorry. It's three four five six three two four five dash.
Okie dokie, let's see, let's see who's here. Ambar and Daniel Eduardo. Ambar, you'll start, please. Okay, give me one second. <laughs> What is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I worked in Monza. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, perfect. Amber is very direct. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, <laughs> Thank Carlos Antonio Murillo and Jose Osorio. Carlos, you'll start. Hey, teacher. What is, what is your social security number? It's 345-632-4578654. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Malta. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you, do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic, any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, very well. Hypertension, hypertension. Excellent. Hypertension. Now, next, Francisco Eduardo and William Rosales. Uh, William, you will start. What is your social security number? Give me a second. Okay, it's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Monza. What did you do there? Uh, I was the evening manager. Where did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, perfect. Very well. Hold on. Now, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Walter Mauricio and Janita Elizabeth. Walter, you'll make the questions. You start. Okay, teacher. Uh, what is your what is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five middle dash seven eight six five four. And where were you born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I work in Molsa. What do you do? I was the evening manager. Where do you work there? From 2005 to 2011. 
do you have university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Uh, do you have any medical condition? Yes, I do. I have had hypertension. Perfect. Excellent, both of you. Elvia Janet and Roxana Asensio. Elvia, you'll start. Okay. What did you social security number? It's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to from 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, guys, thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Roxana. Eduardo Ademir and Francisco Jose Menendez. Let's see. Where are you guys? Why did you social security number? It's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. July. Where, oh, did, sorry, July. where did you work? I worked in Molson. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have a hypertension. Excellent. Thank you very much. Claudia Lisette and Fernando Gonzalez. Claudia, you'll start. What is your social security number? Six three four five six three two four five dash seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From two thousand five to two thousand eleven. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Thank you very much. And now, Maria Luisa and Silvia Vendaño. Maria Luisa, you'll start. Okay. One moment. Uh, what is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I worked in Malta. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. Uh, when did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical, medi medical condition? 
Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Maria Alejandra and Nicolás Mendez. Maria Alejandra, you will ask the questions. Okay. What is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I worked in Mulsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have a chron any chronic medical condition? And the last line was, yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Nicholas. Now, Susana, are you ready, Susana? Yes, teacher. Okay, Susana and Marta Ana Belinda. Susana, you will start. Okay. What is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I worked in Monza. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Thank you very much. Now, the little the little dash, el pequeño guión que está ahí se llama dash. Pero cuando hay palabras, o a veces nos pasa con apellidos, que son de dos palabras y que van unidos por un pequeño guión, y que se va así, que las palabras van siempre juntas, pero ese guión no divide nada más. En ese caso se llama hyphen. ¿Ok? Mm. Déjame ver qué ejemplo podría darle sobre eso. Teacher. Yes. Only dash or can be middle dash. It can be middle because the other one is low. Yeah, or, or uh, under under slash. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Yes. Se me olviden a mí las cosas sencillas. Look, examples. Okay, let's see. Oh, this. In this case, look. Sign in. If I have to spell this word, si yo tuviese que deletrear esa palabra sign in, it will be S-I-G-N hyphen I-N. Or what about this one? Ice cream. I C E hyphen C R E A M. Okay. When it's words, hyphen. When it's number, when it's numbers, dash. Okay. Are we clear? Yes. Okay, guys. Now. Well, you know that you need to continue working with the platform. Oh, by the way, eh, perdón, voy a hacer una aclaración. Había un pequeñito error en la actividad 2, ejercicio 4. El día de ayer lo veíamos con ámbar. Este, una palabra no, no les daba. Ya está solventado, ámbar. Podemos rehacerlo de nuevo. 
Si alguien más tenía el problema, we can okay. make it again, okay? Perfect. Now, let's see. Uh, you have to work in the platform. Uh, by the way, ¿qué les pareció la metódica de trabajo? Hoy realmente no, no nos enfocamos tanto a escritura. Today was mostly conversation. Is it okay with you guys? ¿Vamos bien así? It's okay. Yes, it's okay. Perfect. It was okay. Yes. Excellent. Now, besides the platform, you will have an extra homework that you will send me. Okay, he estado revisando, me han estado mandando algunos de ustedes, but you got an extra one. Again, from the manual, okay? Siempre del manual. Page number 21, okay? I need you to fill in that information, okay? I need you to fill in that information. You can be created with a very specific personal data. Con datos muy específicos personales pueden volverse creativos, ¿verdad? No necesariamente me los pongan como the address. Uh, the phone, yes, I got your phone numbers. Social security number. In our case, that would be, en el caso de nosotros, esto sería como el DUI, ¿ok? Employment history, dates of employment, name of the company, address of the company, job title, la posición, duties, obligaciones, ¿ok? Education, degree obtained, institution date. You fill in the information as best as you can, lo mejor que pueda, okay? And send it to me privately, okay? Me lo envíen, no al grupo, en privado. Si hay un dato que es, usted siente que es muy privado y que igual no lo quiere compartir, I mean, está en su derecho, be creative. What I need is the information fill in y que tenga sentido, ¿verdad? Corresponda que tenga lógica lo que me está poniendo ahí, aunque no sea específicamente su información. Como por ejemplo, I mean, let's be honest, I don't need your, your DUI. Yo no necesito su número de DUI. So, if you want, you can obviate that one. Ok, ese lo podemos obviar. But I am mostly interested in you filling in. Me interesa mucho que okay. llenemos. The one about position applied for. La date, voy a ver cómo la pusieron. Date of birth, fecha de nacimiento. Ok. Employment history and education. I am very interested in that. How do you write it in English? Ok. En esa me voy a enfocar mucho más. Ok. Sure. Well, yes. Eh, siempre va a ser el lunes el último día de entrega de la plataforma. Yes. Okay. Eh, sí, gracias. Eh, hoy confirmé. Nosotros tenemos hasta el día lunes. Ustedes terminan el día lunes eh, la plataforma. Yo tengo hasta el lunes a la medianoche para haber ingresado sus datos. Ok. Su calificación. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No, la thanks primera, to you. La primera sección. Yes, section number one. Ok, before we leave, antes que se me vayan, attendance. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Fernando, oh, sorry, sorry. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. In this moment. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. 
Present teacher. Samira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Francisco José Menéndez Aguilar. Here teacher. Okay. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Hey guys, thank you. Have a good weekend. Enjoy it and see you Monday. Take care. Bye bye. Good bye, night. Teacher. Thank you, good teacher. Night. Bye. Bye, teacher. Good night, everybody. Bye, guys. Good Have good a good night. Good, good night for everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye. I see you later. See you. See you soon. See you next week. See you, mister. Take care. Okay, hello, Maria Alejandra. How are you? Hi, teacher. I have. I finally came. <laughs> okay, you're sleepy. I see you like. Oh, uh, maybe. So the wind passed very fast, and the bird hard every week. Every week. Okay, Mr. now. Tell me, tell me, is there anything special, particular where I could help you? I don't in particular where you could help Teacher, I have a many tooth, tooth, doubts, doubts for the exercise in the platform, the, the second. Okay, let's see, exercise number two. Yes. Vamos a ver. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Let me check it out. Uh -huh. No, not this. Uh, number two. Para number two. Okay. Stop. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Can you see it? Lo vemos? Yes. Yes. Okay. Unscramble the words to form sentences. Ok. La primera, mire, se la ponen aquí, facilita la primera palabra. Capitals. Ya tiene la mayúscula. It. ¿Qué va después del sujeto? Uh, it will be. Ok. It will be. It Uy, aquí ya tengo be, el error, mire, es una espacio. It will be. It will be a great opportunity. Ok, it will be a great. Opportunity. Ajá. Uh -huh. To study. To study abroad. Abroad. ¿La dejamos así? Yes, because. No, y el punto. Ah, mm. a period. Mm. <laughs> ok, number uh, two. ¿Cuál es la que le ha costado? A ver. Todas. <laughs> Okay, number because two. Because I don't, I, I don't have Vaya, a mire. logical. Vaya, la primera, lo que va primero, lo que inicia con. Capital. Okay. Hagamos la número dos. A training. Okay, a training. Después del sujeto que les puse yo que iba en la estructura. Will be the... Ok, el modal. El modal. El modal. Could be... Would be... A training would be... Beneficial. Ok, perfect. Beneficial. Or employees. Uh, for... Uh, for our employees. Our employees. Okay, number three. Number 
speak? Working. Okay, working. Working would be. Ah, 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 ah. En este caso. Ah, work. Se acuerda que cuando comenzamos con un verbo así, este verbo no está trabajando como verbo, sino como parte del sujeto. Working que trabajar que. Less hours. Ah, working less hours. Ahora sí, Will todo esto es el sujeto, mire. Perfect. Uh, <coughs> oh, will be, I'm sorry. Will be. Another benefit. Another benefit. Now, let's see, number four. And the number four is weekend off. Okay, let's see. Weekends off. Uh -huh. Will be. Will be. The weekend off will be will be a, an option an option ah I use the mistake an option to what an option? No. No. A good Will option? Be, I'm sorry, yes, my bad. No sé qué estaba pensando. A good option? A good option? The to, weekend off will be a good option to. Después del tú, ¿qué ponemos normalmente? Un verbo, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál to es have. Que nos queda? Okay, to have que? To have a happy employees. Uh, to have. To have. Happy. Happy. Employees. Let's check it out. Vamos que escribimos. Weekends of will be a good option to have happy employees. Ah, Number five. Antes decía staff. Sí, pero lo cambiaron porque estaba cerrada. Number five, number five. <clears throat> uh, Maria. Maria. Will be. Will be. Maria could be help. A great help. Ah, could be a great help. But I don't have a A. Ah, entonces no, ¿verdad? Ajá. ¿Qué le parece esto? Of great help. De gran of, ajá. Ah, of great help in in the inventory 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 department. In the inventory. department Okay let's see You see You did them Es mala Pero si usted las acaba de hacer Yes. 
but when I try to to do to do to do when I try to do to do them, um, I I think a different logical for the for the for the for the, uh, for the sentence. But now that you did them with me, you'll see that it's easy. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, but remember, uh, it's. Lo que pasa es que este tipo de ejercicio adquieren costumbre. Okay. Y luego estaba el otro errorcito que debe haber sido frustrante, que era el error de la plataforma, pero que hasta solventado. Uh -huh. El de staff y employees. Ah, yes, yes, ese. But when I try, I don't see a mistake. <laughs> okay. Well. Maria, it's been a pleasure to be of help. Ha sido un placer para mí haberle ayudado. Thank you, teacher. Have a good weekend. Behave. Comportese bien. Siempre. Sí, good night, care. teacher. Bye. -bye. bye. Good night. Well, I'm sorry. Bye-bye.